Hello everyone, happy Monday. We kind of just saw a house, definitely a fail. I ran out of there before I could go upstairs because I walked in and it was cute. I love the like cabiny wood. You guys saw like the ceiling is like all real wood. Very pretty and it's out here. It's on like an acre, an acre, almost a, an acre and a quarter of land. But I walked in and I saw like a dead cockroach and I was like, okay, you know, it's vacant. It happens sometimes like a cockroach gets in and it just dies because there's nothing for it to eat and then I walked in the kitchen I saw a bunch of like little black things on the floor but they weren't moving and I didn't have my glasses on which I'm glad because I if I saw them properly I probably would have ran out then but I was like okay maybe just I knew it wasn't dirt but I was like maybe it's like pebbles since they just renovated a little bit I don't know I was trying to be very positive and then I walked past like another dead roach to see that back room past the kitchen and then when I came around back after I saw the laundry room on the way back to the main area, I was about to go upstairs when I heard a little like, not buzzing sound, but like bug sound. And I realized the dead cockroaches were not dead. And they just started flying, running, and I ran out of the house. I mean, I was like shaking my hair. I, I cannot, even if you get like a good exterminator, I just, the fact that it looked like that on my first viewing it, I don't think I can see past that. Oh, so no, it's, yeah, it's a no for me. But I did take a cute picture, like the outside of it. I don't mind showing the outside since I won't be like living here, but I'm, yeah, no, I can't. Hey guys, it's almost six o'clock and I'm prepping dinner. I'm gonna make some lemon butter pasta again because I'm obsessed with it. I like love that pasta. But I'm using for like the protein, I'm using the garlic pepper pork sausage I got from Whole Foods, I think this week. Yeah, this week. And I just took out one sausage and what I'm doing is cutting it into like little, like quarter size. I mean, it's like the width is the width, but they're fairly like thick kind of cuts, kind of like you would buy like sausage in a pack that's already pre-cut, but I'm rolling them into like little balls. So that's what I was doing. And I was like, let me pick up the camera and cook with you guys. I won't really go through the whole thing because you guys have seen me do the lemon butter pasta, I think a few times now, at least once recently, but I wanted to show you guys the sausage and I'm gonna make it in my cast iron skillet that I got from Target the other day. I have a cast iron skillet that's enameled from World Market. It's like a 10 inch one. The one I got yesterday is from the Hearth and Hand collection. It's only enameled at the bottom. The top part or like the part that you cook in is just the raw cast iron, which is what I wanted because I made a steak last night and I was like, okay, I definitely want to make this in a cast iron skillet that's like not enameled. Even though the enameled one is good, I just wanted something kind of classic, but also cute because the white part on the skillet, which I cooked breakfast into. I made eggs in it, and it was only the second time I was using it, and it didn't stick, like, at all, which is amazing. I've been doing, like, the cast iron skillet cleaning, like, no soap and nothing. You just kind of wipe when there's oil, and then using, like, salt. I have, like, rough pink Himalayan salt that I've been using. I probably need to get, like, kosher salt, but I actually should have cut all of these and then started rolling, so let me wash my hands. They're all, like, different sizes, but it's okay does not have to be perfect. I love cooking. I know it's not technically fall yet, but something about fall just makes me want to cook everything from scratch and just, I don't know, just live in the kitchen. That's why like I'm looking, I'm apartment hunting and like house hunting for rentals. And I just, I don't know, I want like a bigger kitchen. I love my kitchen now, but I, it's not that big. I only have really like those back to back wall pieces. I would love like a, just a little bit bigger of a kitchen if I could find one with like stainless steel appliances. But yeah, I like, I keep thinking about that unit I saw on the duplex and I just think it's so pretty. I can't stop thinking about it. <laughs> it has like a large kitchen. It has a lot more space than my current place. The only thing is it's lacking closet space. So that would be a an issue. I'd probably have to get like a drawer or something, like an armoire or something, just to keep clothes in. 
but I'm not really big on getting like really big furniture pieces like that just because if I move again or if I just don't really want to use it I just don't want to be stuck with like a lot of stuff like that okay I'm about to combine these two because <laughs> and it was supposed to rain earlier it said that it was raining on the Google weather thing or the weather app but it didn't rain over here by me it just got super dark and gloomy which I freaking love <laughs> I don't know why I just love when it gets dark and gloomy because it's just like it just it makes it perfect to just sit inside cook dinner and just relax and yesterday I went bowling with my sister and my brother so it's kind of perfect that we went bowling and just hung out yesterday and then Today it's nasty outside and I've just been at home working except for going out and perfect timing on my part. I went out to see that house, came home, then it got dark like 30 minutes, 45 minutes later and I was like perfect timing. I get to be all cozy inside now after getting work done, after seeing that unit. It's just, I love this. I, I really do love my life. It's just so cozy and quiet and peaceful. I really do. Good morning everyone. It's about 8.15 in the morning and I'm dressed and ready for my 8.45 Power Pilates class at Smart Bar and Pilates. I am excited to go, but also the workout's intense, so I'm like, oh, let me make sure I grab my V8. For my outfit, I'm wearing these airy workout flare leggings. I forgot the style, but I'll link it down below if it's still available. I just have it in black and I have it in this like washed black and then this washed like maple color too and then this sports bra slash like bikini top is from forever 21 i've had it for a few years and it's just like straight it's like a bandeau with the straps they don't come off and honestly you wouldn't want to wear them without the straps off for the class i'm going to because you might you know have a little slip but this is what it looks like all the way back this is my outfit i just need my pilates socks i know i have a pair in the car but I think I'm going to grab a pair from inside too, just in case. Because I can't remember if I wore the ones in the car or I wore another pair that I brought in. I just threw on my little Columbia vest over my outfit. I think it's so cute. It's like super oversized. I got this in my last vlog. It's a men's small at Columbia. And it's just the black color. I also have gray. I think it's so cute. I'm actually going to take this with me. I completely forgot I had one left. It's the Matcha Love Energy. Japanese matcha plus green tea. It's sweetened. I got this from Natural Grocers. Yeah, I'm going to take this with me. Let's head on out. It's 8.16. Class is at 8.45. It takes me about 15. Well, not really. It takes me like 12 minutes to get there, but I estimate for 15. So let's head on out. Of course, we stopped by Target after Pilates. I do have to get like coffee pods, the Starbucks ones for my Nespresso. And then I want to get flour and baking powder so I can just have it on hand because I am going to start like baking and kind of do more like intricate cooking where I might need to like bread stuff. But I went and stopped by the dollar spot and they actually have their Halloween stuff out now. Like look, I noticed these. I have the pumpkin mugs they had last year but they're not like, they don't have a face on them. They're kind of more... I don't want to say classy pumpkin mugs, but they're less like comical if that makes sense. I don't know if they'll have them out, but I'll check. But they have this one with the cute little face, and then they also have this. It says Magic Potion. This little cauldron. How cute is that? What else do they have? They have some to-go cups, it looks like. Yeah. This light up swap bracelet. Yeah, some paper cups. And then just kind of like little knickknack things. Halloween and then they have these these little containers I think are so cute you could do like iced coffee in here if you wanted to it's just I'm not really a big skull person if they were like pumpkin shaped I would definitely get it to match the ones I have at home so I could have like 
two pumpkin glass mugs for iced coffee and then two for hot. And they also have these little containers, which I think is really cute. I'm not really a big Halloween person. I'm more of a fall, so like this would be my section where they have all of the little pillows and stuff. They even have a football thing. It's almost that time. I'm so excited for football season. Yeah, this is very cute. I think there was something on this side too. Oh, just kind of like the baskets they've had for a while. All the pumpkin spice is starting to come out now. They have like cream cheese, that's pumpkin spice. And then I think this is just butter. Maple brown butter spread. Yeah, brown sugar butter spread. And then they had the wee pumpkin and I guess the regular one. I tried the non-dairy one last year. I wasn't really the biggest fan of it, but it's not bad. But they have the Noosa one, which I like. This is the coolest thing ever. Look at it. It's a portable Bluetooth radio from Hearth and Hand. I know they used to have a green one, but this one, I mean, it doesn't go with any of my decor at my current place. And I hate that I'm thinking like this, but I'm like, what if it looks good in my next place? Even though I have no idea where that's gonna be. But oh my gosh, this is so stinking cute. I don't need it, because I have my um, Google Homes that I can like project music off of, but this is so cute. They have more mugs. And look, they actually have white ones this year. I have the orangey ones that look like this, a little bit smaller, but these are really cute in case you want like some fall decor but you don't want it to be orange or black, you want it kind of more like simple. This is very cute and then they even have this one that says pumpkin spice season, this says witch please, another cauldron, a little happy ghost, mummy, yeah. These are very cute, I might grab a white one. Maybe I shouldn't. I know I shouldn't, but. <laughs> I'm back from Target and I just picked up like a few boring things, a tub cleaner, glass cleaner. I got some more Nespresso, espresso pods from the Starbucks line. And I also got these. It's a little acai slotted spoon and then solid turner. And I got them to use with my cast iron, especially my new cast iron skillet, the 12 inch one. The 10 inch one that I use too, is here. This one is just fully enameled so the inside isn't like a raw cast iron. This one is raw cast iron and it's bigger, just a little bit bigger which is perfect. It's been used quite a bit since I got it like two days ago. I've used it for every single meal, even cooking eggs, and it's been amazing. So I got these to use with the pots and pans. I figured this would be great for when I'm making spaghetti since I make a lot of spaghetti with my lemon butter pasta obsession right now and just mixing it. And then this would be good because it can like actually like scrape in there. And then I can probably use it to kind of clean up a little bit too and to get things to like not super stick to this just yet. And then I also got this little spoon rest because I don't have one and I'm always looking for somewhere to put my spoon when I'm done using it. So I figured this would be nice to have. Like I said, I just got a bunch of boring other things. I got, oh, flour, which is gonna be so messy to try to put in my jar, but I have to. I got some baking powder and then some kosher salt to like clean my cast iron skillet. Cause I know you can kind of make this into like a slurry slushy and then scrape the cast iron skillet. Cause you don't really want to use soap. There's like, everyone has like different opinions. I just know that a lot of people say don't use soap unless it's like super messy and then you only use a tiny bit of soap to clean your pan. But usually you wanna avoid having to use soap because that's how the seasoning builds, just being wiped, cleaned, but not using soap. So I got some coarse salt to do that so I don't have to waste my pink Himalayan salt because that's how I've been cleaning it. So got that, tub and tile, Windex, the fun stuff. I washed both of the tools that I got today and then I sprayed them with some olive oil and kind of rubbed it all over. And then I actually brought out this whisk that I have that has a wooden base too. Never done it before, so I washed it and then did the same thing, I oiled it with olive oil. I said to let the oil sit for at least 15 minutes or overnight before like you use it. And I do wanna use at least this one to cook breakfast because I wanna do scrambled eggs. So I set a timer and I have a few minutes left but I still need to like put stuff away on the counter. This is the first time I'm actually talking to y'all today. I know we've been kind of like out and about. I've been 
I looked at two houses today. Not really a fan of the area. I really am trying to find, besides that rental that I found in the duplex that I really like, I'm trying to see if I can find a rental that has a little bit of outdoor space. I don't think I'll be able to get like an acre with, <laughs> you know, like a rental home in my budget, but I kind of just want to see. I just stopped by Target because they were having a sale on these Good Belly probiotics. I've been using this one and then the other one I got from HEB that has like sugar in it for my daily collagen juice. I'll put my collagen powder in here. They were having a sale so these are half off. I don't know if it's just today or what but they're usually like three dollars. They're like a dollar sixty something after tax. I'm like oh my goodness. So I grabbed two of the what are they raspberry blackberry with no sugar added and then the other one they had at this Target that has no sugar is the kids one, which I don't really know why it's a kids version. I mean, everyone likes fruit punch, I think. It's fruit punch party. And this again has no sugar added, which is awesome. So they were all half off. So I picked up four. I bet my bun is so crooked. Hello guys, it's five. Oh my gosh, five exactly. To Wednesday? Wednesday evening. I just got back from everywhere. I was out, I went to see a few homes and like units in a duplex. Was it, yeah, it was a duplex or a triplex. Nothing notable, so nothing like worth vlogging at all. Ugh. I need to like keep looking so that I can make the decision to confidently give my 60 days notice without feeling like, oh, I have no idea where I'm going rather than like, okay, I have a few options. I kind of like a few places. And then so I can apply so that if it takes a little bit to hear back, I can probably know before I have to give notice. <laughs> so yeah, that's a whole other, we're going to stay positive. We're going to keep looking. Um, leases come up for renewal and then like people give notice all the time. So I'm looking now and I'm sure there's someone else about to give notice to a really great place that's going to be perfect for me. It's probably going to be like a single standalone a rental home and I'm just going to love it. So I'm staying positive. <laughs> it's just going out in the heat and, you know, not seeing any winners. I was like, okay. But after that, I went to Target to pick up the probiotic drinks. I think I showed you guys in the car. And then I went to Ross, which... I wasn't expecting it. This is like how all this always starts. I wasn't expecting to find stuff at Ross, but I did. <laughs> so I'm gonna take you guys through what I got. I got a scratching post for the cats. I got some home stuff. I got some clothes. Surprisingly, I found some pants. Pants that I couldn't find at Goodwill, which I get, cause you know, it's, it's really random. Finding tops at Goodwill or thrift stores are easier cause if it's baggy, you're like, fine, I'll have it oversized. If it's tight, you're like, I'll wear it tight pants you kind of have like a specific way you want it to fit so that's usually hard i was surprised i couldn't find any at nordstrom rack all of them have that weird gapping i know i vlogged it these ones don't and even the ones that i didn't get from ross the ones that i tried on none of them had the weird gapping like high rise low rise none of them had the weird gapping and i was just like my sister told me she's like go to ross and try looking for jeans they're like really good and i was like i had just gone to nordstrom rack i'm like listen i'm just not lucky today so glad she was very right. I sent her pictures while I was trying on clothes like, you were right. <laughs> First thing I got for the cats, I got them a scratching post. You guys know the two that they have right now are just absolutely destroyed, but they love them. So I'm hoping I can add this to the collection and then slowly take away the ones that aren't. They're like, there's not even anything left on it and they just love them. But my cats aren't like toy cats. They don't enjoy playing with like toys that you buy. If I give them a box, they're just over the moon. They like floss sticks. They like like <laughs> hitting those bottle caps. Um, but they do like things. So if I buy something like this, they will like it. I mean, the last one I got them had like a head on it and they beheaded it because they were playing with it so much. And that's good. I rather them play with stuff like this than like my furniture. So let me put this down. Hi puppy. It's so funny because I'm like, I don't think I'm renewing. I don't think I'm staying here and then I'm still buying stuff for the kitchen. But regardless, if I end up moving, which I likely will, all this stuff is going to come with me. Like all the new stuff that I'm buying is coming with me. I'm not going to start over. But I got this. I got this cutting board and it's so thick and heavy and it has feet. So it doesn't like move on the counter, which is amazing for a cutting board. The ones I have right now don't move either because they have like gripping. They're just like a, a plastic material. I forgot the actual thing, but they're great cutting boards. But I saw this and I was like, this is one I can leave out on the counter. And guess how much it was? I mean, it's like heavy. It was $12? Yeah, $11.99 for this bad boy. Isn't that awesome? 
I'm so excited. I do wish it was more of like a deeper mahogany wood, but listen, I'm okay with the coloring being like a bit lighter than my kitchen because it's just, it's such a great quality board. Who's attacking it? Oh, G is attacking it, good. But yeah, so I got this cutting board. And then this is the cutest little rug ever. I'm not really a big rug person, honestly, but look at this. The lady checking me out saw this and she was like, this is so cute. I was thinking I could put it in front of the oven. Oh yeah, I think this would be so cute. Probably won't like this, but I got it because it's just, I wanna try it. It's the Jordan Skinny Syrups Maple Bourbon Pecan. I'm gonna try this in the morning. I've never really been a fan of the zero sugar coffee syrups, but I want to try it because it just seemed very festive, like maple bourbon pecan. That just sounds good. And the thing is like when it comes to like syrups and stuff for coffee, there's always really fun flavors in the zero sugar brands, but never in like the regular sugar, which I guess is good because it's like, you don't want to have that much sugar, but it's like, and then I got this because I don't have any shape like this. I got these two houseful nonstick loaf pans. I think these will be perfect for baking bread. I was thinking about making pumpkin bread this weekend, so I might have to go to the store and get like pumpkin puree and everything like that. But banana bread, zucchini bread, maybe real bread. Maybe I could try that out making actual bread at home myself. But I got these two and they're fairly heavy. It came in a pack of two. And they had a few other shapes and sizes, but I think I was just good with these two. I didn't really need to get a whole set of bakeware. And I finally got a potato masher. <laughs> I use my whisk to mash potatoes because it's just, I've used it for years, it works. But I got this house full stainless steel potato masher. And I've had a potato masher before or used one before, but it was the one that had like the zigzag lines and I didn't like it. It just didn't really do what I needed it to do. So I'm hoping maybe this one is better. If not, I'll go back to use my whisk. I mean, it's never done me dirty, but I got this. And then the last two things I got for home, I got some antimicrobial bar mop towels, and then I got some bar mop dishcloths. Just kind of more towels in the kitchen never hurts anyone. <laughs> for the clothing stuff, I'm just gonna try it on here in a bit with y'all. It's better to show you guys when I'm trying it on rather than show you now and then go try it on. So I'm gonna kind of put stuff away in the kitchen and go try on the clothes, which I'm very excited to show you guys. I think they're all, Oh no, I got a top too. Okay, I was like, they're all pants. Here's what the rug looks like in front of the oven. It looks so stinking cute, I think. But I just love the back wall of my kitchen so much. I just feel like it looks so cozy. It has like, you know, more stuff than usual. Usually I have it like more streamlined and kind of a lot of stuff put away. But like I said, I feel like with fall, winter, it's, I don't know, it makes it more cozy when you have stuff in sight. And even though it's more stuff there, I think it looks pretty good. I think the only thing that looks a little out of place is the kettle because it's black. And well, the metal basket behind it's black, but I feel like that's like solid black. And because it's just not really in a spot, if I had more space, I would definitely have the kettle kind of situated somewhere, probably with like the honey more visible, but yeah, I like it. I think it's very cute. 